Yeah, actually, it's, been, it's, been, it's going to be going on year four and possibly year five. You know, it's unfortunate a project like this. It's a multi-year project, over $60 million. A lot of people in this community, including our elected officials, went to the FAA and secured the funding. You know, a project like this has to be done every 50 years. Uh, it's a concrete runway. It needs to be replaced. Those C-130s, they, they do a lot of beating on that runway as well, too. And, you know, not only the FAA funding went into it, but the National Guard, too. The National Guard put money into this project as well, too. So they started the project, had everything designed, and then just had problems after problems the first part of the project. It was a four-month project that took two years to complete. And then this last year, when we thought we were done with that phase of the project, uh, the contractor had a lot of problems. Uh, the concrete they poured is actually doesn't meet the, the strength test, the tensile test. So they may have to come back and replace some of that concrete in, in 2025. That's the kind of problems that we're running into with this. The, the, the pour that they did last year was the intersection of the two runways. We can't close that down. It just shuts us down completely. Uh, so we, we may have to come back and do that. We've got one phase that we're doing this year on, uh, on the main runway that will require us to shut the main runway down. And because of that, we can't use a secondary runway. So I know it's a, it's a complicated issue. There's so many different factors that went into this, but it's just been one thing after another that's really hurt us on this project. I